Okay, so the leak that's happening in there, right? You see the corner where that window is, that inside corner? Okay, four feet from that window, right there, is where the sliding glass door, or where the sliding door is. And that's the door that you're leaking in. And that corner measures exactly four feet from that window to where the leak is, right? So four feet plus, you take into account those 17 inches, right? And now, put the tape measure across here, right? So you got four feet, right? 60 would be 12, right? 67. So now, I'm dead even. The end of that tape measure is where your water drips in, right? So now let's take a look at that for a second. Let me come up here on that spot. What am I seeing exactly on that spot? See those holes? Okay. Those holes are from where the solar panel was installed here. But what they do is they pull the bolts out and they put that piece of lead under there. And that piece of lead is covering the holes. So the rainwater comes in here, hits that lead, and continues over the shingle. So that's fine. Okay, here you got another hole. Okay, again, another piece of lead under there. That's fine. That's not going to leak. That's not going to leak. And then you got another set of, set of holes here. There's one there. And there's one there. Okay. Another piece of lead. But this piece of lead ends right here so if I take my handy dandy tape measure and I measure from this second hole see that hole there so if I measure from that hole to the bottom of the shingle here I got six and a quarter inches okay so if I put the tape measure sorry trying to do this one hand underneath on top of this metal now okay so here where the shingle ends is six and a quarter inches right that's where that shingle lays so if I look at my tape my tape measure is even with the top of that lead right now which means that this hole here is not covered by the lead that's underneath it so it's able to leak inside the house so that's directly above where you're getting your leak so a little hole like that is going to take a whole lot of water that's why you didn't see it in the first two days and all of a sudden on the last day it spills in because it's been slowly collecting and dripping inside drip 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 until it finally collects enough water to where it spills over and leaks down into your wall okay that's number one so to me that's definitely what's going on now I start looking underneath the shingles and I see that there's no nails blown through anywhere here everything is okay there's no nails and seams all of this stuff seems to be okay there's a nail close to that right there but it's not getting wet there's nothing showing me it's getting wet there's no dirt so again dead even with this right made me look here because dead even with that right underneath this panel right here is the other bracket in there so that other bracket in there see that that other bracket right there is the same 67 inches on. okay so if I take this there's my 67 there's my bracket see so I can't get in there to see that bracket so what's gonna happen is, is uh, let's take a look at this a different way okay you got holes there one of them is definitely not covered needs to get sealed up that's leaking but this one here is definitely 67 inches in and it's right about here 
okay? So if the water was leaking through that bracket 67 inches in, here's the attic space underneath, okay? It would leak in, get into that attic space, and then run down to where the wall is here, because you have a soffit on this roof, so the wall is here. So exactly even with that bracket right here is where you're getting your drips. So either those holes or that hole is going to cause it. Easy for me to seal up this one. I'm going to seal that one up right now. This one here, if it's the bracket that's leaking, I suggest you call the solar company. Tell them that you believe one of their brackets is leaking. Have them come and take this apart. Get in there and get a look at it and see if they can't put something on it or, or see what's going on with that. Because what you don't want to do is to start taking out bolts from the solar. Because if you take out these bolts, right away you're going to be wrong. So leave it alone, pick up the phone, call the solar company, tell them get those bolts out of there, get over to that bracket that's exactly in line with your leak, and take a look at that bracket, make sure that bracket's not leaking, and while it's open, put some sealant on it anyway, it never hurts. But that's the culprit, either that or that, because it ain't leaking anywhere else. You don't have any nails and any seams anywhere. There's nothing missing. There's no red flags anywhere on this roof system. The only thing that there's red flags on is all the holes that are through the shingle with the lead under them, which most of it is done correctly, you know. And then you have that one that's not covered, which is just, you know, could probably take that piece of lead and shimmy it up a little bit and cover it. It just wasn't good enough. Uh, but this bracket needs to get looked at as well. All right, and then you should find your culprit and be done with this leak.